Hey guys, what's going on? Swamp Life Reptiles here. Just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, today we got an awesome video. We're gonna be working on my new Florida box turtle setup. Uh, for some of you that might know, I had an escapee due to my old setup. Um, I was able to find him in my neighbor's yard, which we'll see over there. He went through that fence and was in my neighbor's yard. Um, one of the more important Florida box turtles in my group. And so this week, we're gonna be working on a video for their new setup. Uh, I went and got a Waterland tub from the National Breeders Expo uh, from Joel Garcia and Wayne Hill. So I'm really excited about that. And so uh, this video will be pieced together throughout the week because I'm back at work. And so I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so see you this soon. This is my small group of Florida box turtle yearlings right now. I'm looking to get some more, uh, probably one or two more to add to my group. Uh, but currently they're being kept in this suboptimal enclosure. Uh, they get shade, they get UV. Uh, and plenty of humidity. But this is not how I like to set them up. I don't wanna have to give them daily water soaks. I want that to be in there and closing. And so uh, with this setup, I hope to provide you guys with some insight on how Swamp Life Reptiles tries to set up enclosures. And this is my first in-depth enclosure on Florida box turtles. So hope you enjoy guys. All right, so I'm about to show you the new Waterland tubs. Uh, had them in my truck since yesterday, guys. Uh, only one of them is mine. Got one of them. Uh, transported one of them for a friend locally here in Gainesville. So she's coming to pick hers up today. Regardless, this is the small land Waterlands tub. Uh, they're pretty awesome because you can get water, land, and uh, they work great for turtles and tortoises. But yeah. So here's one of the Waterland tubs. This is the small land, like I said. It's nine inches tall, 55 inches long, and 24 inches wide. And so this enclosure is gonna be used to house those Florida box turtles that I told you about. Um, but first, before I do anything, um, I need to work on the drainage. So this is gonna be an outdoor enclosure which means that I'm gonna need it to be covered. Uh, and I'm also gonna need it to drain because when it rains, I don't want this enclosure to flood. All right, so what I purchased is I went to Home Depot the other day and I got some of these, okay? Also have a two inch hole saw that I put in my drill. And I'm gonna drill these holes, guys. All right, so as you can see, I've placed the Waterland tub uh, a little bit uh, sloped. Uh, the plan is to have it slanted so that when it rains, any excess water will come down to this end where I will install these drains. Hopefully it'll work as planned. What I'm gonna do real quick is run some water in it and see how that works. So let's go ahead and test this out, guys. That's what I was checking for. Now all I'm doing is pushing some of that water over so I can set my overflow line. That's the line at which I don't want water to go past. So if on this tub, it's gonna be right here. This is about as high as I want the water. Anything other than that 
should drain. All right, guys. The water is off the bottom. It's about two inches. I probably should have left a little more. So I'm gonna pour some of this water back because I do want it a little bit higher. There we go. And it was really that easy. I want the water to the highest point that it'll go without leaking like that. All right, so I use this tape to mark at the point that I'm gonna drill the hole. I'm drilling it a little bit above it, as you'll see in a second. And that is so uh, the water won't go above that. All right, guys. Got my drill and my hole saw. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when All I'm right. done. Got the hole, pretty easy. You gotta put some elbow grease into it. And now I'm gonna try to pop in one of those drains. This part is probably gonna require me to take out the water because you gotta really push into that bad boy to get the water out. I mean, to get the drain in. It was actually easier than I thought. It really just pushed in. So I'm probably gonna flip it around because I want this on the inside. So if I would have drilled that way from the inside out, it goes a lot better. So my next hole over there, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, time to line it up and get it done. All right. Now I just gotta put the second one in. Boom, boom. These are the drains for the water side. And now down at the bottom, I gotta do two more. So check us out. Seems like it's working pretty good. I'm now installing the land drains. I did some testing in the water pools right there. Thinking about it, I'm gonna lift the land side. Shout out to my boy Greg with Greg's Turtle Haven, uh, helping me out, running some ideas. This is my first time doing a uh, water land tub for box turtles. So keeping the land side uh, dry is important to me right now. So, all right, I'm gonna drill these holes and I'll hey see guys, you in a minute. Uh, remember I told you this video would uh, span over the course of a week? Well, we're at the end of the week and this is only the second time that I've been able to work on my Florida Box Turtles new enclosure. As you can see here, I am water testing it in the rain. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it is exactly that As I was you doing. See, this is the land portion. I'm filling it with some water to see how quick it drains. See how quick the water portion drains too. Look how quick it drains. Does a pretty good job. Got the box turtles in it. <clears throat> this is not what it's gonna look like, guys, but. I wanted to give them a chance to get out and get some sun. They've been on my patio for a while. Time to get the supplies out of my truck. We got some organic topsoil that I'll show you more. 
some uh, river petals or pond pebbles as they're called here and then some play sand. As you can see in the video, I've shown the products that I used. I got them all at my local Home Depot. Uh, and now we're gonna get started. The first thing I have to do is clean these rocks. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. And uh, I hope you guys see how easy it is. It takes a little bit of work, but it's definitely easy. All right, so I'm gonna take this bag of pond pebbles. I'm gonna place it in this tub that I've already used for other things, but it has holes in it. And it's gonna allow me to drain it while filling it with new water. All right, it'll make it nice, smooth, and easy. All right, guys, I have the rocks in the tub. Got the hose in there. Time to get this water pumping. All right, it's gonna take a while. You wanna keep jumping the water and letting it leak out until this is clear. So I'll come back to you guys when I have it done. All right, some of you guys might get lazy at this point. You can't really see it, but there's a light, light, light orange film. I'm not gonna get lazy. I'm gonna keep doing it. Keep rinsing it, dumping the water, and doing it again. Okay, I'll get back to you in a few. All right, so we're about pretty much at my liking. The water is pretty clear. Now we're gonna move this rock over into this tub. Okay, first I'm gonna put down a piece of screen that I've cut as a bottom layer. I'm gonna put the rocks on top of that to hold it down. And then we'll get started with making sure the land portion is how we want it. I gotta take my buddies out and put them back where they were at for now. Right, as you can see, I've laid down the screen. I'm gonna cover the screen with gravel. That's gonna help so that the sand and dirt substrate doesn't all rinse out every time it rains. It's not gonna be perfect guys, but it should work pretty decent. Before I do that, I gotta dump the water cause they pooped in the water. So as you can see, I have my daughter helping me so I can videotape it. She's putting the rocks over here to help make that layer for drainage purposes. Sweet sauce. All right guys, we're at a point where I'm content with the rocks. I apologize for the previous videos. Uh, well, some of them, I forgot to turn the camera sideways, so I apologize that it's gonna look kind of weird when it's merged together, but I remembered now and I can't redo what I've done. So yeah, we got the gravel. Now I'm gonna add the sand. Uh, this is a land portion over here, so I'm not gonna worry about rinsing the sand over here. All right, All right. got the layer of sand down, pretty content. Now I'm gonna get the dirt going. I got the dirt over here on my patio and let's get to it added the dirt in and now i'm just going to mix it in with some of the sand get that kind of sandy dirt that we have here in florida then i'm going to add some moisture and see how it looks all right i'm pretty content with this this is how i pretty much want it you know for the most part gonna throw some rocks right here that i have over here, I have a decent supply of these kind of rocks to uh, kind of separate it over on these parts.
Do it like that. All right, let's see what it looks like with uh, the sprinkler. Pretty spot on. And as you can see, the water clumps down here. Makes it real gooey right there where the rocks are at. Which isn't terrible. It just lets me know that this is where I need to uh, install some more drains. I'm pretty content with the substrate though, even though it just didn't drain as much as I would have liked. It's by no means perfect, and it is going to flood the water portion. It's taking a while to get this clear, um, but I'm pretty content with how it turned out. They're around foraging. Uh, and uh, it's time to decorate this bad boy. What I have so far, guys. Now I'm gonna secure a lid on it and uh, we'll be back in a few, guys. I have these zip ties and this metal grate that I use for a lot of my covers. I'm gonna zip tie it all the way down. And then for this piece over here, I'm gonna put egg crate. So I've gotten the lid secured on. This thing's not going anywhere. And now all I gotta do is add the egg crate on this side. guys i'm uh, pretty excited uh, i got this enclosure done it took uh, about two days um, because i only worked on it two days this week uh, it was an exciting video uh, i hope you guys learned a lot if you have any questions feel free to comment or message me on instagram or on youtube uh, i'm also on facebook swamp life reptiles uh, please make sure you follow like and subscribe to the channel and i hope you enjoyed this video till next time guys see you later say bye